The words anti aging make most of us think of lotions and creams to fight the outward appearance of getting older. But a researcher is confident he has found a way to fight aging from the inside, and it could mean treatments for age related issues like heart disease and cancer. Here's health editor Dr. Maria Simbra. It's tough to find anyone who doesn't have at least a few complaints about getting older. Getting out of bed, it sounds like a rock band. Crack, snap, crackle. Yeah, your aches and pains. No energy and all kinds of stuff. It's excellent. Meet the man who says he just might have the answer to those complaints. Dr. David Sinclair of Harvard Medical School says he's found a molecule that has proven to reverse aging in mice. They drink it. And we see that within a week, they start to run further, they have more energy, and then we look at their tissues, their organs, and those are rejuvenated as well. It's all about DNA. See these young, healthy runners? Their DNA has not yet been damaged by the aging process, and this is key to Sinclair's research. So when we're young, there's a protein that works very well to repair our DNA. But as we get older, another protein comes in and stops that from happening. And what we've discovered is that there's a molecule that can get between them and pop them apart so that this youthful protein can do its action again. If approved, this is not something you'll find on drugstore shelves. It will actually be prescribed to prevent age-related diseases. But it won't just help your diabetes. As a side effect, it'll prevent cancer, and it'll improve your memory, and you'll have more energy as well. But not everyone is crazy about the idea of scientists reversing nature. We have to have an end to life. When you get to a certain point, it's like, you know, you've got 10 million things wrong with you. I, don't keep me alive. What we're talking about here is not keeping people in nursing homes for longer, but keeping them out of nursing homes and allowing people in their 80s and 90s to play tennis and hang out with the great grandkids. Well, tell them to put it out. I'll try it because I'm almost 50 and 30 will be nice again. Safety studies are expected to begin in the next couple of weeks. Dr. Sinclair says that even if his molecule doesn't work in people, there's so much research going on around the world that something will eventually work, just a matter of when. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA, TV News.